Good morning everyone and welcome to Cairo. Whee! Welcome back to my channel. So this video is just going to be like a weekly Egypt vlog. So we're here for like six days I think. Yeah this is just going to be all the bits and bobs that I've put together. Um, it's not going to be like particularly fluent I don't think only because I'm not allowed to film in certain areas or I've been warned maybe just don't be filming on the streets and stuff so when I've been filming it's actually been in been in tourist destinations or like maybe montages where I'm not speaking so you know can maybe get away with it check out the river Nile behind me this is our view in our hotel room how gorgeous is this I love waking up to this I could do this every day welcome to Egypt please be sure to like subscribe please 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 subscribe and turn on your notification bell to stay updated and i hope you like the video let's get into it That is the River Nile. Fun fact, longest river in the world. How incredible is that? It's literally just like, oh, oh goodness me, I don't like doing this. Look at that, we're right on the, right on the Nile. Talk about those views. So happy, it's gorgeous. Good morning, everyone. So we're currently on day four. <laughs> It's gone so quickly actually, really, really quickly. And so far what we've done this week, we have done a lot of chilling. We came here over the weekend. So the weekend in Egypt is similar to Dubai. So it falls on Friday and Saturday. So we were advised to kind of avoid the touristy things at the weekend and go during the week. So it kind of all starts here now. So far though, what we did do is we did manage to go to the History Museum, which was incredible. Saw a lot of mummies, uh, saw a lot of ornaments. I think my phrase for this holiday is history, 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 because I literally just walk around like so excited. Just with all this history, it's just incredible. Like everywhere you look, there is history. Our taxi driver, when we were driving here, um, driving from the airport was like, oh yeah, that church is 400 years old. And I was like, oh wow, old then. He went, old? No, it's new. <laughs> like 400 years is nothing in Egypt. So it's incredible. Everywhere you look, there's literally history. And I'm just taking it all in. Today, we're gonna have to, well, hopefully we'll go to the pyramids, um, but we have a different priority. So we need to go to the hospital and get our COVID test. It is a Dubai regulation. So for us to get back into Dubai, we are going to need a COVID test. We did get one as well on our way out here. Egypt also needed a negative COVID test, which is fine. And then that means that you don't have to do any quarantining. So I'd much rather do that. 
than have to spend two weeks in quarantine. Today the mission is to get our test, hopefully it won't take up too much time, and then we can go see the pyramids by the afternoon and the light show. If not, we've got time to do it tomorrow. We haven't got like a mega packed schedule. This is a chance to chill as well. Yesterday we went to the pool, which was lovely. So we just had a pool day. We've gone to the casino a few times and done the slot machines as well. So it's just been nice to really chill. We've also done some exploring outside. So we haven't just stayed in our resort. So Ollie's got a few, um, a few friends that live here as well. So we've met up with them and gone out for dinner and kind of recommended where to go what areas on the outskirts as well so it's been really nice to do that too feel like i'm getting a proper experience then the food out here is so cheap we literally had a crepe and it was one pound one pound and i had my little lemon juice so my lemon juice was 50p uh which was lovely so yeah it's really cheap on the outside in the resort it, it's pretty much UK prices three pound for a coffee it's not the end of the world and you don't think it's that bad and then you step outside and you actually realize the price of things and you're like oh wow okay uh, we've been told it's pretty safe so like no muggings or anything like that which is good also when we ventured out we also went to the supermarket because is it even a holiday if you don't go to the local supermarket I don't think so. So we went there and we just got like crisps. We got some Cheetos. Cheetos out here are 9p. And then we just got loads of croissants and yeah, snacky bits. So right now we are going for coffee before the day starts because I need one. Yay! Look at these beautiful hotel gardens. Absolutely stunning. Okay, and here's the River Nile. Whoa. Here we are with our morning coffee. Look at these views. So lucky. With the River Nile. Coffee and River Nile. And so much greenery. I'm honestly so surprised by the amount of greenery in Egypt. I thought it was going to be like a desert. Good morning everyone and welcome back to another day. So yesterday obviously we did not get to see the pyramids so slight story time. We had our coffee yesterday which was lovely which you would have seen and then after that we hopped in an uber and off we went to go to this place that was recommended by Emirates on their website and we found it on Google Maps so we got the Uber driver to drop us up there and long story short we spent hours walking around trying to find it because it wasn't where it said it was on Google Maps so we were literally in the back alleys of Egypt of old Cairo trying to find this lab obviously for our covid test now out here it's it is very different to dubai and the respect that arabic is spoken everywhere and english isn't necessarily even a second language out here so we were walking around trying to ask people like oh where is this and it was extremely minimal minimal english so after about an hour walking around we finally found this school so i was like let's let's just go in there schools are safe so let's just go ask so Ollie asked and there was these two lovely ladies and they didn't speak a word of English and obviously we don't really speak any Arabic. They were really sweet and they phoned the English teacher. So the English teacher come to us uh, to ask what was going on, what we were looking for and we told him and he was like, okay, okay, what I'll do for you is I'm just going to write down in Arabic the street and the area that you're after. If you show this to anyone, you don't physically need to speak to them in English. Like, just show them this and they'll at least point you in the right direction. So, bless him, that was such a lifesaver because although, yes, it was a lot of walking around, after that we were able to, like, kind of show it to people and they were like, yeah, 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 like, that way, left, right, whatever, and was able to at least point us in the right direction after what felt like an eternity in the heat and walking around and I was getting very stressed out because I didn't know where I was going 
and I obviously was a bit like, oh my God, we're literally in the back alleys. <laughs> Where are we walking to? We finally managed to get there. Um, but all in all, that, that took basically the entire day up. By the end, I was absolutely shattered. Then afterwards, we went to our favourite little pizzeria place. And I have to say, it is literally the best pizza I've ever had. Even better than the ones that I had in Rome. All the tomato sauce is like proper tomatoes. Like there's bits of tomatoes in the sauce. Oh my god, it was delightful. Just in case anyone's interested, that is Thomas in Zamalek. So then, yeah, after that, we obviously just called in a taxi out from the from the road, which is really easy to do just to get taxis around here. As we were going in the taxi, two, two little boys, they must have been about five and eight, or not much older, but around that age, and they'd obviously just pick some flowers and were selling them to obviously try and make some money. So... Ollie bought me some flowers from the from the two boys and they seemed very happy with themselves so at least they've got some money now. There you go. And they're a little bit um dead. I mean they were from yesterday and obviously haven't stuck any water in them. But cute, huh? Today we are off to go see the pyramids. So it's currently like quarter past nine, I think, or something like that. Um and we're gonna go collect our results for the COVID test at eleven. So fingers crossed we can just turn up. Did look like a bit of a shambles yesterday but fingers crossed it's not that bad today first we'll just go get our morning coffee because i need coffee in the morning then we're going to some castle afterwards because there was a place that i really wanted to go i think it's called han al halili or something which is like basically like the souks in dubai i really wanted to go there but on google maps it says it's temporarily closed so i don't know whether it's because that's summer or whether that is due to covid which is a shame because I would have loved to have gone there. Then go to the pyramids about four and then do the, the night show as well. So we see all the pyramids lit up. So yes, hopefully today everything will go well and we can go finally see the pyramids. But of course, the COVID test was our priority. It had to have be done so we could get back. Keep you updated. everyone and welcome to our last full day in Cairo uh, sorry if this is a bit shaky I actually broke my stick yesterday my little tripod thing that I hold um, so times I've got another one back at home anyway but yeah just in case this one's a bit shaky because I'm just holding it with my hand so yesterday as soon as I'd finished recording oh sorry about my shiny face by the way I've put on my sun cream ready for the pool after this Yesterday, we, after I videoed, we went straight and picked up our COVID test. Luckily, got dropped off in the right area because we knew this time. But once again, the taxi driver, a different taxi driver, tried to drop us off at the same place originally from before where we got lost. And I was like, no, no, this is not where it looks like on Google Maps. And uh, so we managed to go to the right place at the end. We're both negative again, which is good. No COVID around here. After that, we caught a taxi and we went to a castle, which was very pretty. Then we went to go get some food and we just came back and chilled for a little while. And then we went to the pyramids, which were literally like incredible. They were breathtaking. Definitely one of the things you need to see in the world. Story time there though, because nothing ever goes simplistically with me and Ollie, is that um, once again, the taxi driver dropped us off at the wrong entrance. So we went a bit later because it's quite hot during the day. We done it at dusk. So we got there and it was still night. And then people were like, oh no, this is this is not the right entrance to the light show, which is what we want you to see. So that's where all the pyramids obviously light up and they tell you the story about them and the Sphinx as well. We were like, okay, we'll walk. And they're like, walk? No, it's like a 40 minute walk away. And I was like, oh my God, great. We literally just went into this man shop. He he drove us to the other side um, and then when we got there he was like 
look just to let you know i actually own one of these hotels as well do you want to just come up and have a little look and see what it's like so i was like yeah sure so we went upstairs and it was the most beautiful rooftop view ever of the pyramids you could see them all so perfectly so we're like do you know what yeah rather than paying the entrance fee to go in we just hung back and we stayed on like the rooftop at one of his hotels so we ended up using that money on shisha and having a, a few non-alcoholic beverages as well also very glad we didn't pay for it because it was all in arabic um so the english viewing wasn't on for whatever reason guess there were no tourists and the people that were in there were all arabic native not sure and then today is our last full day as i said so the plan is just go go get our morning coffee i'm absolutely obsessed with the cafetiere um, and then we're just going to go straight to the pool as well hence my attire again and my greasy face with my sun cream on So we finished in the swimming pool and now we're off to go eat to our favourite at Thomas, the lovely Italian place. So we're going to eat lots, enjoy it, hopefully I'll get a few snippets of it for you as well. Best pizza ever. And here is the best pizza in the world. Real tomato sauce. And still our pasta and then all the other pasta. So it's now a bit later. So I'm not sure what time it is. I think it's about eight you would have seen that we did have our pizza it was incredible let me tell you we also just had a pasta to share and some garlic bread as well because we were very hungry and then after that we went to the casino and had a bit of fun there and then I'll just come upstairs and I've just been packing ready for tomorrow so that's everything thank you so much for watching please do be sure to subscribe got lots of exciting things hopefully happening now in Dubai so I know this has been a bit like hi I'm in Dubai and you actually haven't seen any of Dubai yet it's literally just been this is me this is the house and we're going to Egypt so hopefully <laughs> you guys will actually start seeing a bit more of Dubai now and I promise you I do actually live there but over Overall, Egypt has been incredible would absolutely come again maybe when a bit more tourist things are opened up maybe when it's a bit cooler but it's been amazing everyone's been so friendly absolutely loved it and can't wait to come again I think the hotel has just been absolutely incredible it's been so nice I think we found that perfect balance of relaxing and still doing touristy things as well like it was so nice just to chill at the pool today and so we leave tomorrow at 8 a.m to get to the airport and hopefully should be back in Dubai by about half five um, and then can pick Chloe up the next day, which I'm very excited for. We can pick her up tomorrow evening because obviously they're closed. I hope you enjoyed my Egypt vlog. Hopefully it's come together quite nicely and you guys have all been able to see bits and bobs. So much history everywhere. So if you do love history, Egypt is definitely the place for you. And I mean, we only done Cairo in like a bit of Giza. There's so much down south as well that we didn't even go to or think about like Valley of the Kings. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to turn on your notification bell to stay updated for the next video. Alright, thank you. Bye.